Hi, everybody. Welcome to the new normal. I'm your host, Lisa Davis. This is <laughs> Chomp and Cannon. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, Candy. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so we are at Nana's. We're at Crypto Nana for LTCs for the eclipse. Everyone's talking about it. The traffic is crazy. I get to miss school. Well, we mm -hmm. homeschool, so you're not missing anything, buddy. But we go to co-op on Tuesday. We're not going to co-op. We're going to stay here and we're going to homeschool from home. Um, but the traffic is crazy and there's apparently earthquakes everywhere. And um, I don't know. Is it all a lot of hype for nothing? Oh, let's ask Westwood. What if we have a... So, hey, why do we have something red? Do you know? Because we are for remember, E for everyone... D for deployed. So on Fridays, we always grab something red, have something red, wear have, something red. I don't have anything red. Well, Wait. my sour candy. So there you are, sour candy. <laughs> so, all right, everybody. Happy, happy Wait, hour. Um, could we get an earthquake here? It's possible. We had some in uh, Edmond? Edmond right before we left. Some I, small ones. I've, I and Jim so. Willie had one on his latest interview live while he was Matter doing fact, the interview. I felt one the night before at Dad's. Like, it was very small. I heard it. It, it was. It was there. Yeah. All right. So join us um, in the live chat with the fam right after this. Wes will be right back with us. Howdy, Westwood. Hi. Howdy. Welcome. How are y'all doing? Is this a new We normal? are well. Good. Uh, I think sorry. I just muted myself. Don't touch anything. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We kind of rigged up a little scene over here. Yeah. That's <laughs> chaos. At Nana's. But it's all right. Yeah. It works. Hey, it's working though. Yeah. We can see you and we can hear you. All right. Good, great, and we can see everybody in the chat. I'm going to start rolling through. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, That's right. um, what does that say? Oh, I need my glasses. Aaron Knutson, maybe. Wait, Mr. X. Good to see you, Tom. 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 Mr. X. No one noticed me. About the traffic, honey. This is before we're even on. What is that? So relax. There's on a lot of trafficking going on. Travel. I mean, traffic going on Traffic. Traffic. being exposed man oh. they are coming out with all kinds of videos with um pjd there's a great one with ye or Kanye, yeah. where he says he calls them feds he the says room. you fed <laughs> you took the deal you fed and um because they did something and got locked up and then made a deal and remember that like there's that whole it, it was came out a few years ago about how much that budget is um, for paying informants. And that also comes out of U S you know, taxpayer dollars, or they're going to print more cause they need more for other things. Cause we're paying it. I'm just thinking about like how much the U S taxpayer has been like literally had no representation in the choices of what was done right. before we forced, um, to comply with threats of, you know, it's the only thing that they can take your home. They can put you in jail. You know, we don't have debtor's prison in the U.S. I was told right. Right. people might owe somebody money legally, court ordered, all of that. We do not have what's called debtor's prison. And I'm like, well, how come the IRS can? Well, that's different. Yeah. Um, and as, far so as, as far as peer to peer, we don't have debtor's prison. You can't force somebody to pay, you know, what they owe you. However, if it's the IRS, you know. They can take whatever they want from you. Well, and that's one of the things like with smart contracts, they're great. And I could see where like something has to happen and all that. But we need, yes, we need transparency. Um, we need decentralization, but we also need enforcement. There has to be like. Right. Justice. Society, enforced. An armed society is a polite society because there's a, a level of threat or enforcement that will be enacted, you know? And so that part I believe is missing in the cryptocurrency world. And I may be. Yeah. No, no, I get it. No, that makes sense. 
I mean, I guess you could, you know, if the smart contract doesn't fulfill, you know, then there might be a penalty built into it. You could build in, you know, to where if after certain stipulations, then this amount sitting in escrow as insurance, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. gets taken. But that has to be predefined, you know, all that. Yeah, I guess that would be part of the smart contract is we're entering yeah. into this and I'm, but I'm, you know, I'm trusting you that if you don't fulfill, I'm going to at least get, you know, X yeah, because my Z. The, I don't know how that plays there out. There are contracts like that, like in buyouts, you think on Wall Street when companies are buying each other out and it's like, hey, I will buy this company within a year. If I don't, then there's a $10 million penalty or something and you have to pay it. Or a company says, yes, I'm worth X, Y, Z. And they say, great, we'll pay for it. But you're promising to perform all these audits and all the paperwork has to be, you know, you have to prove it, you know, and do all the things. And if you don't, if you lied about it, there might be a penalty for that. So, I mean, you know, it's basically define what you want. Yeah. Well, here comes Nana and Kaya. Um, the camera's up there. Hello. I know it seems Hello, weird. Nana and Kaya. Hi. Kaya. Yes, this is it Nana's is baby dog that goes with her Aww. everywhere. Literally. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes, though. That's how it works, right? So, which means the only places I can shop are Tractor Supply, Ace Hardware, Walmart, yep. everybody puts up with me. Well, what else would you need? I don't know. Bass Pro. I don't know if you have one of those around there. People they take their animals in there all the time. No, it's too big for uh, The uh, thrift shops. Yeah, they were fine with Let's it. Let's see. Well, where else have we been? Oh. And mom said she just uses like the crazy old lady thing. She's like, sometimes I just bring her in and it's like, nobody's going to talk to me about yeah. it. Right. Just exactly. Like you don't oh, know what she I just didn't know. All <laughs> over the place. I kind of seen <laughs> like, well, That's just, crazy. They leave you alone. Well, and I, you know, these people use the service dog routine. I just say, well, I'm her service people. So yes, she, I'm service she's people. entitled to a service person. Yes. I'm a service human. All right. Her service human. Yes. Yes. This dog, I'm, I've got my license. You know, you pull out your little official card or you wear a little card around your neck or a tag, you know, yeah. I'm a service person, service <laughs> that's what I do. Right? <laughs> I think I'm a service I'm, human. Or a t-shirt. Yes. We'll service yeah. human. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I may do that, actually. There you go. Hey, define yourself any way you want. Yes. Do not it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. That's what, that's what oh, I identify. I am a service human. There you go. Oh, man. It's crazy. Um, so Prove are you wrong. having lots of crazy traffic in your area? Because I know you have one of the crosses near you. Well, I mean, it's further south. I mean, NBC, I think it was, one of the one of the big news stations, they've got a piece on Cairo, Illinois. It's spelled like Cairo, but everybody says Cairo. And that's, I think, the southernmost town in Illinois. It's at the right at the tip, and there's a couple of rivers that converge. I think it's the it's, it's Missouri and the Mississippi or something, or maybe Ohio. I don't know. But but it's going over that region. It's actually the intersection of it, the one from 2017, and then this one, it intersects over um, Southern <laughs> Illinois. Sorry. We might have to take okay. her away. I don't know. I don't know what she sees. She's either, oh, like, yeah. Growling it's at Westwood, okay. or that could be. I don't know. Or she sees herself, and she's like, "There's yeah. another." Oh, so that could happen. Another, that these two little dogs are another here. dog in the house. Another dog in the house. That's like my little one. <laughs> mm -mm. Growl at you. <laughs> no trouble. They have trouble. So lots of earthquakes lately. I mean, the yeah. biggest one is this. I really should get my glasses. There was just a second one in New Jersey, I think, just here a little bit ago. It was a 4.0. Yeah. And one in New York, one in New Jersey, right? Well, I, I think, yeah, I think they might have both been centered in New Jersey. I'm not sure. They're so close, though, New York City and New Jersey. But they had the one earlier was 4.8, and then they just had a 4.0, I just heard, before we went on. Like another one. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. I saw that one. Pretty yeah. um, and Jim Willie was saying like, well, I would rather have a, like he was doing an interview and he's like, oh, we're having an earthquake right now. And he's like, oh, but it's pretty short. And he's like, you know, it's better to have a bunch of short ones yeah. to yep. not have that catastrophic event. Because it right. release some of the pressure. You know. Exactly. But yep. of course, the year or so before the great Madrid fault or, you know, 8.0 or whatever it was. Um, they had lots of earthquakes <laughs> the, in the year or so before. So was yeah, wasn't there an eclipse before that? Maybe uh, before nine that new days Madrid? before 
it there was a solar this type of i don't know if it's yeah because it's about every 200 years i think yeah 90 days before that big earthquake was a and you were saying mom you, you and papa were watching a guy named john moore of all things yes years ago i don't know if he's still around because he's you know an older fella um ex-military i believe and he's the one he that uh had well, he had a video on it. He'd go around talking about to people about it, about the Navy map, about that he had met that oh, yeah. was Navy it? person that, you know, was had access. Whether he was setting up chairs maybe for the high brass to have yeah. this meeting where the um, Navy map was shown. And he says, and that's why all these people, including him, retired in the Ozark, Ozark Mountains because they felt like that would be, you know, interior and elevated enough to be yep. protected from the effects. I was hoping I had a copy of that map. Well, um, I've heard of that. And then also Eastern Kentucky was one of the hot spots to where a lot of them said was like one of the safe zones, you know, just could on be, the yeah. western side of the Appalachians um, in Eastern Kentucky, that area. Mm -hmm. They, they kind of called out as a safer area right. for when the stuff hits the fan. Yeah, it's kind of mind boggling. I'm trying to find that yeah. map, but I didn't realize it was this far back. Um, I say Western Kentucky or Eastern Kentucky? Eastern Kentucky, not Western. Western, you know, is awfully close to the Mississippi. Yeah, no, 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 yeah you don't want the Western. Eastern yeah. Kentucky. This is there the map. Is. Yeah. Um, and what's very interesting is my husband had somebody who works for him or used to work for him. And um, he called him the other day and he's former military. And he said, you know, I went, I was on a warship or a ship and went into the war room. And this was the largest map on the wall. And he's like, hey, man, you've got, you know. Do you have everything you need to protect your family? Blah, 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 blah. And called just not too long ago. Um, really? I'm not really? putting panic on anybody. Well, I mean, it, it, it coincides with it. Edgar Casey's um, that was that Earth Changes fact. predictions, the Navy map does. So that so tell them about that. So Edgar Casey is another, like, was he a prophet? He, or he prophet. was a medium, basically. I mean, he would, you know, go into this like trance and then. He would, you know, he asked people, ask him questions and it was mostly health matters. And then he'd wake up and he didn't remember a thing of what he said, but he was highly accurate apparently. But he also did these earth changes predictions yep. and um, who knows? And he was seeing the um, flooding in the plains or split mm -hmm. and having to do with volcanoes or... No, oh, that's I, the, the Mount Etna. The he Mount said Etna. one of the signs that would precede the big earthquakes and all would be the, uh, Mount Etna erup erupting. Of course, it does little stuff from time to time, right. but I guess it's growing smoke be. rings today, right? Yeah, I guess it's going to be. Or are the smoke rings something else, and the smoke is highlighting the things, the rings. I don't know. Yeah. That's the question, I guess. You really, when you look I at it, I think maybe it is going to like have. It's not just erupting, but it's going to cause a lot of damage, and then you know, oh, oh, that's the predecessor to the big stuff. Who knows? And it makes you wonder. Is I mean, you could go one way as, hey, you know, it always happens on Earth. These cycles, you know, they come mm -hmm. back, and you know, you have dis disruptive periods, and then. Mm -hmm. Now we, we have modern weapons and technology, and it makes you think, okay, are we, is there a self-fulfilling prophecy being pushed out, you know? The pizza's ready. Oh. Nana's cooking for cannon. So. Nana eats. Nana eats. Nana Uber eats. Yeah, I think it's really interesting time that we're in. Um, and, you know, is this another 10 for nothing burger? Is right. this a lot of hype? And... We're going to, you know, everybody, you know, I think it's great that everybody got um, gas and food in those areas. Sure. That we're Is it another Y2K traffic. thing? Yeah, because, it, well, and if there's just like no. a lot of people in the area that there's not enough food and, oh, we ran out of gas because our supply. Is Can you imagine? Getting, yeah. If, if that happened, you got all these people dislocated along this belt of, you know, to totality, I guess you could say. And. Mm -hmm don't have a full tank of gas and they can't get back home and they're like stuck, you know, because of something happened and there's a disruption, you know, bridge gets hit by a barge or something, you know, who knows? Never know. Or a bridge that was hit formerly by a barge might, you know, give way or a dam. Um, didn't Uncle Cliff said something the other day and um, he something about like a, a dam, a, the water, people weren't watching because I thought, oh, it's okay because the thing hit or something hit a dam or something was affecting the dam. And he was like, but he was watching the water go over the dam and the little drips were 
uh, eroding the base or underneath like the, the dam. And that was the real danger. The real they were like, oh, it's fine. Look, it's, it's intact. Yeah. It's fine. And then it was like, by the time the base was eroded, Too late. The whole flat. dam came down and it just flooded and it was too late. And I don't know if yeah. he was talking about a future event or I can't remember now. But. See, that's what bothers me. Um, that's scared. It's always worried me about moving certain places because I've always thought Missouri is probably a pretty good place to move. But I mean, you know, they've got those lakes that are all dammed up. And I think, man, what happens if those things give way? Because everything fails eventually, you know. Mm -hmm. And you just think, ugh. Put yourself right there next to that, and that thing lets lets go. I mean, oh boy, you don't want to be on the wrong side of the dam. Hmm. Yeah, there was also some strange things like Charlie and I've been noticing as we go. Like, we go, we like to go to like rural estate sales or yeah. go out to smaller towns and stuff because that's where you get the good old stuff. <laughs> and yeah. um, it's it's been a lot of fun. But as we've been doing that and taking little day trips and whatever, we've been noticing a lot of infrastructure being rebuilt, almost like. Um, remember the Disney movie Cars where they tried to like, or they were educating people. I think a lot of people didn't know that, you know, Route 66 used to help, that helped build America was yeah. the automobile and people traveling yes. and then stopping at these little towns and visiting yep. towns and yep. engaging with local businessmen. Yep. And then the big highways came in. Yeah. And all the interstates. The interstate. They, they pick and the winners and losers with the exits where they go. Right. And so, exactly. And so, um, but it looks like a lot of the infrastructure back into and diverting traffic to some of the small towns is being rebuilt. I mean, in a significant way, like I'm not talking about the same two lane highway. I'm talking about like five lanes or a divided highway with double lanes on each side. Um, really interesting kind of stuff. And I thought it was just in our area, but it's happening over here in mom's area as well. Um, as we're kind of driving around and seeing that kind of stuff. So I'm wondering if you guys are watching this, let me know if you out, if you're out in like your rural areas, are you seeing some of that? Also a friend of ours is in Alaska and he said they were pulling up the culverts on some of the highways. And I don't know if that's part of the, you know, redoing things, uh, redoing the infrastructure or if that's some things there are going to be changes and some things are going to flood and so just get the you know whatever out of there because we're going to have to rebuild over on this high end they've also been featuring the um core of engineers a lot on the army website sorry charlie got earphones on he can't hear it thing they're all this is right. at nana's just everybody's gonna be noisy i just have to let it, let it go in a so, top secret location in our canvas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not missing anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's pretty restful and a beautiful view. I didn't yeah. give you guys the view today, but it's enough. We'll, we'll, we'll have to go back and watch another episode to see the view. Yes. Watch other episodes or go watch Nana's feed uh, for lots of pretty pictures. We had um, dogs bouncing around yesterday. Mm. So, yeah. That was good. You still have the chickens, Nana? I'm down to four, and one's a four? Oh. <laughs> one broke her leg, and we, we don't call names. I had to feed her. I kept her, she wanted to step in the nest, so I just kept brought her kale water and you know feed. And now, the last couple of days, she comes out and hops around. And mm -hmm. I guess she'll make it. She's gonna make it. Yeah, but there's and a new pecking order, which is interesting. Yeah, she was dominant before. She's not so dominant now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big red one, you know, big road out. Game, game changer, that leg. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the little white ones picking up, picking on right. her now. Oh, boy. Well, you know what they say about well, those white know, ones. Those, yeah. <laughs> white privilege. White yeah, privilege. that's it. White privilege. Taking over the hen yard. The hen I, watch them. I was like the dark meat myself, but, you know. I'm, oh, you know, gosh. Juicier. So crazy. Yeah. The world was so crazy. What are you doing, girl? Um, I don't know. There's so much to talk about, I guess. I was really excited about Naryoff being featured on the James O'Keefe. And I guess there's going to be a multi-part series. They just started and did kind of an introduction. What's going on? They asked um, Vitalik and Joe Lubin and the Ethereum Foundation, I guess, for comment. They have not responded to that time. Maybe they will in the future. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it's very interesting to see where all that goes together. Yeah, I don't know. I got a bad vibe about that stuff. I don't. I, that could. Uh, Bye-bye Ethereum. Go, yeah, it could go south, and, and, and I don't know. I you mean, know, there I, still it, is Ethereum Classic. Absolutely. Which I don't know is the real I'm, Ethereum, if you think about it. Right, and it's proof of work. Yep. And, you know, Uncle Cliff had this thing about when everything goes to zero, only a few coins come back. Well, yeah. maybe that's Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. I, I've yeah, always resonated yeah. with Ethereum Classic for some reason. I don't know why, but I've always kind of seen that as, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the green color, the Irish in me. But no, <laughs> it's, uh, no, I always thought Ethereum Classic or something to it. And I don't know what, but it's, it's kind of my... You know why the government theory. doesn't like uh, Ethereum Classic? Because why is that? No. Proof of work. Um, yeah, well, you've got a proof of They don't work. The government now. don't work. <laughs> but um, well, that was my bad joke, my bad crypto joke. <laughs> Pretty good, really. Gotcha. Yeah. I heard a joke today, but I'm not going to tell it. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, we won't do that. That's a well, late well, night now joke. We know. Not a family friendly one. Uh -uh. Try to keep it clean here on Happy Hour. Okay. As just as drinking and smoking only. That's right. <laughs> yeah, just drinking and needling. Drinking, a bit. smoking, and cussing. Cigars and whiskey. Wait. Cigars, whiskey. Yeah, well, <laughs> got beer, so I'm I'm good. You know, I get a little beer. So oh, there you go. You're light, yeah. Yeah. And hot old women. <laughs> and hot women. Hot hot older ladies. Hot old women. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you know, spring chicken. Oh, I want. Bother. Oh my gosh. Okay, Nana's well, when you start seeing Carly and Jenna around, it makes you realize, I know. You yeah, know. yeah. And Nana, oh, breaking news, breaking news, Nana is about to be a great oh, yeah. grandmother. Oh, my, yeah, my Congratulations. sister, yeah, my uh, Nana's oldest child, um, my oldest sister, uh, my older sister, I'm the next one, I'm the middle child. Um, uh, her son is having a baby, or his wife is having a baby. They're having a baby together. Mm -hmm. So super exciting family yeah, news. Is exciting. Well, that's great. Amazing. Congratulations. Great grandma. I'll be yeah. a great aunt. Yeah. Great aunt. You're a great aunt. I'll be a, I'll be a, How could darn, you not be? a darn gar good aunt. Yes, you will. <laughs> You're the, always the aunt that's the most fun. <laughs> yes, that's right. I come pick them up in hot cars and take them to have yep. snow cones. And, Get them in trouble. No, not yeah, trouble. That's right. <laughs> Start some trouble, yeah. then drop them off. That's right. That's <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. That's how we do it. Um, what else is big news? Big news? Big news? Yeah, like you said, the earth earth shaking, that kind of stuff. The tsunami, yeah. almost almost tsunami. You know, Japan got a little bit of it from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. well, that's Nothing right. huge. Taiwan, but, um, I think. Yeah, Taiwan, Taiwan. Nine people were killed. I think four point something earthquake. Well, it was seven. It was no, over it was seven, seven in Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan. was it over seven? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nine deaths and a thousand injuries. My something. friend's son. You see is, the buildings, like looking like yeah. the Leaning Tower. That's what she Ooh. said. She said that there are several buildings down and more that are uncertain. He was safe. He's in Taiwan, and um, he's military. And oh. um, but she said it was it's very eerie and everyone's kind mm -hmm. of on edge so oh, i can see that i can see why i saw one video where the freaking rooftop swimming pool you see the the water <laughs> flowing over the side of the building as it's shaking i'm thinking oh, oh, wow. then i saw a picture well there was a guy in one of them you know and he's going like this I'm, i can't even imagine being on a rooftop trying not swimming just pool. To fall off the top <laughs> of the i mean to try not to um, puke oh my gosh i would lose it i would absolutely lose it um, yeah no, the whole the whole bridge thing. I got issues with that anyway. Going over bridges, the, the, the two nightmares, recurring nightmares that I've always had throughout my life are teeth dreams, like cracking and sh crumbling teeth, mm -hmm. and then also going over bridges. So you know, mine is I have the one where I fly off the earth. I can't. Yeah. We have no gravity of like. I have no weight in my body, and I'm like... You got Nibiru coming by and just ripping the face of the earth off, and yeah. there you go. Charlie, see, there's two, so we're live on my channel, like Coin Lisa, and then we're live on Clint West. So if you're not seeing a lot of people in the chat, you're on Yeah, get on Lisa's channel. channel. for the bubbles. Whoever did the birthday bubbles. Balloons, bubbles. Did I saw the bubbles. Yeah, I don't balloons. Know. 
happy birthday balloons just went by. Kind of cool. Maybe somebody was celebrating the baby or something. I don't oh. know how that happened. I don't know. But that was nice. Very neat. Thank you. <laughs> also strange. <laughs> It's the magic internet. It's the magic, our magical internet friends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So um, you, you might try if you want to be in the chat more, but I'm trying to catch up with everybody so everybody can see and it doesn't matter what channel you're on. So you'll see everybody's no. comments. It's all good. Yeah. So, if you want to see the chat, go to Lisa's channel, the lovely light going Lisa. Congratulations. Her YouTube channel. And then you can see everybody. Otherwise, you'll be like me talking to myself all the time. It's not in the nitty bug. <laughs> but it's so great. I love it. Good times. Um, I just ran about. Um, I find it a little bit interesting. I just made a note. I jotted it down before the show. And it started with planes. You know, we had all the plane issues. All of a sudden, they just all, you know, wheels and all this falling off. I mentioned it last week. And then we had the bridges. Had a couple of bridges. And now we got earthquakes. It's like... Just so like, <laughs> what's next? You know, it's not all at once. It's like, okay, today we're going to do airplanes. All right, you got it. You know, they're in the they're planning room. Okay, okay, we got to do some stuff to some airplanes. You know, right. whatever. Okay. Short, so everybody shorts Boeing, and then we can buy it. Something oh. like that, maybe. Who knows? Um, yeah, and then the bridges. You know, we need some infrastructure money or something. Let's knock some bridges down. You know, and then Why now we've got earthquakes. <laughs> So. But Biden said that we're going to pay for it and we're going to rebuild it. We're going to build back. I know, we're going to build it all. We're going to pay for it all. I'm like, what, and somebody why? was like, um, what happened to the boat's insurance? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But we've got mechanisms for this, don't we? All this. Why Somebody's at fault. So. Probably bankrupt. <laughs> well, and then who has those contracts? Right. Oh, there you go. Right. Speaking of which, um, apparently Ripple, not XRP. XRP is a token. Let's be clear. Mm -hmm. Ripple yeah. is the company. Mm -hmm. Ripple announced that they are coming out with or creating a new stable coin. Mm -hmm. All alongside, there's other announcement, which may or may not have anything to do with it, with a bunch of uh, the central banks coming together, like France and a bunch, all the one or a bunch of the ones that are not in BRICS. Uh, yeah, and it's very interesting that all of this is at the same time um but what happens to xrp if right and and not only that but they're already talking an etf for that stable coin in ripple and blackrock's putting in a bid on april 12th i'm like I think so, yeah that went fast that's weird yeah like it's already planned already figured out pretty much i get that sense more and more that Everything's rolling out just according to plan, you know, when it needs mm -hmm. according to a timeline. That's my, my sense right now. But everything's kind of happening um, and we're watching it accelerate. And I, I would think so. I would think that you'd have to get a lot of this implemented because, you know, you do have possible election and, you know, different people move in, you know, move out, you know, depending upon the outcome of the election. So I would think that you want to you want to ramp things up and get it all done while you can, while you have the, the strings of power, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say, but. I just feel like everything's just rolling out like it needs to, according to plan. Mm -hmm. Who's so. plan though? Well, that's it. I don't know. Exactly. That's where. So, yeah. it's build our little sanctuaries and prepare, and you know, that's all you can do. It's really interesting. It's a crazy time to be living in and yeah, thinking about, and it also helps you prioritize, like what's really important, where you spend your time, who yeah. you engage in your life, what you give your energy to, like you yep. talk about all the time. Last yep. Week. 100%. Like, those are some big questions right now. Um, and what really has value like long-term. Right. What's going to sustain your family and those uh -huh. you love. So. Yep. <laughs> are you looking at notes or reading the chat? No, I'm reading the chat. Okay. It's kind of looking down, catching up here a little bit. Interesting. Light Shadow says, next, disappearances of world leaders. Hey, it wouldn't surprise me. That I mean, was in, kind of seeing a little bit of that coming. That was in some of the crypto viewing. Um, oh, was it? I'm giving that away. Well, I So I am on uh, Ed Reardon's pay-per-view, or what's it called? Not pay-per-view. Uh, Patreon. Patreon. 
Um, and I think it was on that. Maybe it wasn't on that. I don't want to say anything that was like not public, but they were talking about maybe it was just on Dick Allgaier's crypto well, viewing. Remember, there was the thing with Cliff about Suicide Weekend. Yeah, this was more like walk of shame of like mm. seeing them arrested, like public. Uh, well, today Cliff and, you posted know, one where they were this health ministry person in mm -hmm. some country. I can't remember now. I did see that. Cliff did actually, you see it? People were like yeah. calling him names and going after him and he needed protection. He had to have a you know what? I always said Dr. that's what needs to happen. They yeah. need to have. They need to be shamed, and they need to not be able to be comfortable. You know, where you know they're mm -hmm. they're so comfortable in their existence in this bubble, this ivory tower. They think their actions have no consequences, but yeah. there are consequences. And I always said I just kind of boil it down to: You think you're going to have a nice steak dinner at a nice restaurant on Friday night? Well, guess yeah. what? We're not going to let you do that. You're not going to enjoy yourself, and no, we're going to make your life a little all difficult. The victims are going to be. Starting to get wise. Well, and I saw a video where like they somebody beat the crap out of Dr. Oz and then they were on there and I was like, oh, is that part of the oh, that's the other thing. I don't think I've told you yet because uh, I just found out this on Tuesday. One of my friends, her husband runs uh, is like one of the administrators or runs a bunch of these hospitals, like okay. a group of them. Uh -huh. And they had a meeting with their um accounting or whatever and insurance has stopped paying over five weeks ago and is not they are there's no payments being made by insurance um to back to the doctors so i don't know have the lawsuits come through or do they know they're have they been shut down are they complicit or the i don't even i don't even know what that means yeah. uh, everybody should think for themselves sorry about all the dog barking charlie's up uh, huh with food. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you think about, I mean, you know, for a long getting paid. So they're billing people. Like if you come in, they're billing you and they're billing your insurance, but they're not getting paid on their insurance. Your insurance says, uh, you know, maybe we'll pay you and see, this is what ticks me off. These doctors that don't take cash as payment and give you a discount. And they say, Oh, well, if you had this insurance, it'd be 50% less. Cause we have a deal with them. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, 75%, or actually, how about you give me a 75% discount and I'll pay you 25% of the bill and you'll get it right now. And guess what? You don't have to wait for these insurance companies to screw you. You're actually going to get something now, at least benefit me. But they don't. They got all these contracts, all this crap. That's part of the problem. It's all rigged. It's all ridiculous. It's not a real market. Yeah. yeah that was my mini no, rant. But it's also, to me, everything's going peer to peer. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. if you look at what the real estate market, where um, MLS or the people that run MLS got sued and yeah, they're like, you don't get to negotiate the deal. People, if you're selling a house, you're going to, you want to use a realtor, then you're going to negotiate a fee. But then, and if a buyer is buying a house, then they're going to negotiate a fee with a realtor if they want their help. But the seller doesn't get to say what the fee is that the buyer is paying. Um, in the deal so yeah because that was always that was always the deal you know basically you know there's a lot of fat in the system to where all these costs get built into the price of a house you know and i sold a few houses on my own and just did my own contract and it's just i mean i and i used a realtor maybe once and i mean you just you can do it yourself i mean you really can Instead, you know, I mean, I don't know. They have more reach because they get, you know, the information out there and more people to see it. But it, you know, all it takes is one person, one person to buy the house. So I don't know. The whole realtor thing, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Well, and now it, with smart contracts, we don't need as right. many. Like, in That's the past, something that could go away. Yeah. And that includes representatives. Like in the past, the U.S. was so big and people needed a representative to travel to D.C. to have their voice heard. You know, we needed all right. these middlemen because we didn't have things like smart contracts and to be able to be represented Technology. in our own capacity with our own. As long as our identities. Right. Are that's the, with exactly. Our privacy. Yeah. And that's the key. And I guess that's the thing, you know, that certain blockchains can take care of. You know, you do have things like DigiID that can do that. But on the other side of it, I see it as a tool to where I think they'll try and use it in a nefarious way, you know, to hang on to their control and ID everybody and everything you do so they can track and trace everything, um, you know. But again, it comes down to it's a tool. We got to use it for our benefit rather than theirs. There, I mean, the hope I have is it's gotten so big 
that it can't sustain itself that much longer. And even Cliff talked about that, you know, going back to what we talked about earlier to where all that money for these, uh, these honeypot guys like P. Diddy and Epstein, Hefner, you know, um, you know, all these guys that are on the till, it's going to get to a point where you can't even pay them enough anymore because the money's collapsing so bad. And yeah, we'll print up trillions of dollars, but at some point we're going to say, I'm not going to work for you anymore and do your bidding because, you know, it really doesn't matter this money that you're creating and paying me with. And so maybe hopefully we're at that point where that whole system's falling apart, that bribery system starts to fall apart because people realize this money's garbage. I don't want any of that, especially now that you've got things like Bitcoin in the limelight and gold rising, you know, maybe people will start demanding, hey, I want a real asset. If you're you know, going to buy me off and bribe me, you're going to have to pay me in a suitcase full of silver or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So, oh gosh, I just had a thought and then I got distracted. Um, I don't know if we're allowed to share news. I'll let, I'll let their other family share news first. Um, but congrats to people in the chat that we love very much on their happy occasion. Um, and then let's see. So when you were saying getting bribed anymore, is when um, Cat Williams, a lot of videos are coming out with him and him saying what he's been saying for years and mm -hmm. like outing Oprah, outing, a lot of these guys. There's a video of Mike Tyson with uh, that P. Diddy, and P. Diddy's trying to put his hand under Mike Tyson's butt, and Mike Tyson like grabs his hand and he goes, "It's all about the Benjamins," and he throws his hand away, and then he gets away from him and turns away. And um, there's a few other videos with other people around P. Diddy too, to where they're like, "No," because they know they they know what he's doing, you know, and it's kind of like an open secret. Well, and. I guess um, Cat Williams had said the number was 500 million. I'm so I'm like, okay, well, approximately, I don't know what that is in their world, how much money that is in like the elites world. Right. But right. to us, that's like unimaginable. Yeah, you know? it is. A lot of money. And then to, um, if you, but if you look at what, like, what is our actual inflation versus what inflation, they say inflation is like 9% last year. But I, I'm telling you, in my family's pocketbook and groceries and getting by, it was over 20%. Right. For the things you need, it's right. going to cost. If you want to get a TV, okay, fine. You don't have inflation. Right. But, but if you want to get some food to eat, so you can sit in front of the TV <laughs> yeah. and eat, it's a lot more. And sometimes, in some cases, almost 40%. Yeah. And so, you get garbage in return. I mean, you don't even get healthy food, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I To me, that's really interesting to see all that plays out. I think that's going to be one of the next big things to where food production, it already is, but, you know, maybe I'm preaching to the choir, but having a good source of food production, because you see what they're doing to the, the cattle, trying to, you know, put all these things in it. I mean, we saw Chick-fil-A, what, last week just announced, well, we used to brag about having, you know, non-hormonal chicken, you know, and not shooting it up with anything, but they took that off the table now, where they're not even saying that they're going to have chickens that aren't you know, injected with stuff. That's concerning. Yeah. I mean, because that was always one of the restaurants that you thought, oh, it's well, you know. Eating at. Yeah. But, well, I mean, they even said it. So, I mean, you got to look at the food supply and you got to look at what's going into it. I mean, with all the, you know, the things <laughs> that they're putting in there and you're going to ingest that in your body. I think one of the, no. I think you'll see a lot of boutique farms start to spring up. Um, I know as we we're going to go to the farmer's market tomorrow morning yeah. if we can get out of the Support them. <laughs> yeah. Or down the hill. Well, I don't know if the, the local one's open, and I really don't think I want to go downtown for Smith. You know? Oh, no, no, no. I would only go. I'm, they may not. Maybe open. not this weekend. Yeah, I'll start till May. I'll have to look it up. I don't know. We were planning on it, and then we tried to go to, to Ace Hardware, and we, like, barely got down the mountain. And as soon as we hit, like, the main road through town, we just, like, got in line. And then it was I've never seen traffic like that. Yeah, it's through multiple these, lights. It's all these people for the eclipse, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I mean. Hopefully they don't get stuck there. Now you got to deal with them. Oh, we uh, don't have to deal with them. We have yeah. deterrence. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. That's good. They're not coming here. <laughs> uh, don't come up the hill, okay? Yeah, don't come up the hill. No. It, it won't end for you. Yeah. <laughs> put it, um, put it I, so... Josh Lake says, 
by the way, Paige and I got engaged. Oh, yay. for Easter for real. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. Congrats, Mister yeah. and Miss, future Mister and Mrs. Two wonderful people. Um, yeah, love you guys. And that's already, where the future brings a lot of hope because these young couples have different values and like they're talking about, you know, well, we're in this small space. Well, how can we still be sustainable until we can get in a different space? They're like, hey, you know, talking about having quail in apartments and when, um, and you know, the Pebbleton post will rise again. Don't let anybody fool you. Oh, I think so. And had a lot of great information and they were really bringing resources to people. May 4th, so they're not going to come around tomorrow. Okay. Well, we want. You know, there's always a way. And I guess that's the thing. You know, no matter how dark it looks, you know, there's always a way. You just look to look to uh, those things that are healthy. And I had this conversation with Mitch today a little bit. It's um, there's a lot of distractions out there. There's a lot of things out there. But if you look back to, you know, the real stuff, and I'm here I am, I'm looking out because I got the door open and I'm looking at the tall green grass that's growing. Um, excuse me, mode. But um, you look at all the the beauty that there is and what it produces. And if we can get back to that point, you know, there's always a way to survive because you know the earth has so much abundance that don't let them deceive you into thinking that it doesn't. Nana, you know that firsthand. What kind of abundance you can have from a few seeds, yes, you know, or a beehive. You know, it takes work, but. Take some work, yeah. It will provide, you know, yeah. and there are ways to kind of opt out if you really want to. And, you know, there's a lot of land out there. There's a lot of places. There's a lot of, even in yeah. an apartment, there's a lot of ways to grow food. You can sprout seeds and, you know, there's there's always a way. And uh, we just have to look at it that way and just um, got here. I don't know how long we've been on this planet, but uh, we've got to where we're at, you know, in the midst of all the stuff they've tried to do to, to kill us off and we're still going. So, I mean, don't don't get discouraged you know there's always a way forward and you know it's beautiful that you know you got two beautiful people coming together getting married with josh and Paige, yeah. and then first thing in my mind is you know waiting for those babies just like lisa's thinking you know when those babies gonna come that new that new blood that new dna you know out there you know they're the same dna you know out there the good dna getting you know out onto this planet that's that's the helpful thing yeah and a new start and mm -hmm. brings hope and the thoughts of the future and all that. And if you embrace now we have Bitcoin. So that's the other thing. Like, yeah, it's a different world. Yes. We're, different talking about, or we're talking about how history has been changed. And you guys, I don't know if you saw my Twitter this week from school. Uh, mm. The history lesson is a total indoctrination vibe. Like I'm really struggling with it. I just told Canon, we're not going to, I'll give you the prize or whatever to not learn that because it's, I think it's important to know what they teach the normies, you know, yeah. so we're talked about it. It's and like the enemy game plan. They yeah, put it right in front of you so you can see it. Two air, two airplanes flew into buildings and crashed them on 9-11. And then one airplane flew into the Pentagon and one flew into a field in Pennsylvania. And I was like, and then one flew into Building 7 and brought it down. Oh, they wait, didn't talk about didn't Building happen. 7. They're not that even going like full narrative. It's like, <laughs> if you're going to go all the way, let's go all the way. And uh, you know, let's, give, let's look at the whole picture. Fly, you know, mm -hmm. but um, so I was like, yeah, we'll talk about it at home. We'll look at different things. We'll look at videos, you know, educate ourselves. And then, but it's important to know what they, what that old history was but now with blockchain we can see the real history and that's like with if you guys aren't following boring sleuth on um twitter go follow boring sleuth he has on chain data showing things about uh erickson telecom and uh connections with sweden and the killery foundation and um i mean all the branches and how it all connects and how they've been moving information, data, which data is. Remember when Cliff said that like data will be the new um, money? Yeah. That's what we're coming to realize is that like the fiat is. is dying because what were they paying for? They're paying for the information. You were the product on Facebook. They were paying for your they wanted your energy. They wanted your information that you know you produce and your your time and all that. Right. So yeah. if you retain your data and your IP and your thoughts and oh my gosh, I saw this horrible thing. I don't know if it's true or not, but this guy did like a video and he showed a patent 
supposedly um, AirPods have put in for a patent to do, you know how they had um, those mind thought or brain, they could read your brain waves or read mm -hmm. your mind or whatever mm -hmm. with like a whole um, kind of cap. Well, I guess they've like back to the future. You know, when Marty shows up, he puts the helmet on. He says, uh, oh, well, don't tell me what do you, I, I, I'm going to tell you what you're thinking. You know, you're anyway. Well, so they don't need those. Apparently they just have gotten it down to the ear pod. And so if they're collecting, remember that every phone, they found out when people put Alexas in their home and then somebody found out, wait a minute, there's a micro or a speaker. Oh, wait a oh, yeah, they're listening, they're listening all the time. Just say, hey, Alexa. Yeah, I thought yeah. these were just speakers for our home to have music in our home. Why yeah, is okay. there a microphone in there? Oh, because they're right. listening all the time. Absolutely. Music. Goes these both AirPods ways. AirPods have possibly are capable of listening to your thoughts and when i say listening to your thoughts i don't know if that means capturing brain probably the, waves the, 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 probably the frequency the waves yeah, of brain the electricity of where it's coming from right but then they pattern that it's probably like a morse code of some kind yeah i'm sure it's where some algorithm a new al alphabet yeah i don't know but this should scare the hell out of everybody <laughs> everybody go Trust me, there are times where I'm just, all right, I'm done. I'm totally turning everything off and disconnecting. I, I go through those moments to where, yeah, it might happen. If we reset to Starlink and or, I was even thinking about, um, you know, those helium miners where yeah. it's even better than Starlink or something that's centralized. You know, even Starlink yeah. is centralized. So then, yeah. whoa, hail mighty Elon, you know. That still makes us vulnerable and not in possession of our own data or move our energy around. But if you have right. something like a helium miner where you can turn it on and off when you want to use it or have access and it's you just, can send your yeah. data. Think about the beginning of the internet, you know, DARPAnet, you know, whatever they called it. Um, there are devices out there now to where you can buy them and... I mean, I can put devices on my house. I do have devices on my house that have Wi-Fi to where I'm out. I'm mowing the grass. I can listen to it. But I'm connected to the broader internet to pull that down. But those devices can go peer to peer. And there's places out here like big green bins to where there are service, there are internet service companies where they have wireless antennas. So if you're like, you know, three miles away, you put line of sight, you put yours up and you're connecting back to it. And in that instance, you're connecting to their network that then feeds your internet, you know, back to you. But you could do that without internet and have your own like mini internet of individual people to where you're not on the broader internet connected to all things. You're just connected peer to peer. And you can build those networks you know, outside of, you know, their system and put those things in to where it's almost like ham radio, you know, you with data and then you can transfer that energy back and forth and communicate outside of, you know, because we think internet, that's because we're connected to the world. But think about it, you know, where I'm at, okay, I connect to Michigan, I connect to my neighbor, yeah. I connect to that neighbor and we're communicating and we're messaging and we can do all these things, show videos. And it's just like the internet, it's just, we've got a mini internet of us. You know, and that can broaden out to where it's peer to peer all over, like a digital sock. Yeah, I mean that can be done now, mm -hmm. but it, but they've made it easy because you know they've they put the billions into the infrastructure and it's so easy to say, well, I just get a phone, I get a cell connection, okay, I'm good. You know, but then they monitor everything you say and have all your chats and all your phone calls and everything. 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 Yeah, <laughs> they have it all. Let's just hope the good guys have it all too, right? Yes, 100%. And, and music. So they can see. Oh, this was the other one. Okay, hold on. They can see. No, those? not not yet. I <laughs> yet. Oh, we're going down rabbit holes, Cannon. Relax. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I wanted to play this video. This was really um. So you guys know um, my dad started teaching me about the American flag and what it means in the military before yes. he left and everything, and he taught me about. Um, so we've been flying a war flag for, he said his whole life, he died at 90 and um, a peace flag is when the flag is like this, when the, when the stripes are um, yeah, facing down, up and down. Yeah. Up and down, running up and down. Horizontally. Which is, no, that's vertical. Oh, vertical. Horizontal is like yes. the whole horizon. Vertical. Mo vertical. Look, we just homeschooled. <laughs> um, right in front of you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so when they're vertical, that's the peace flag when it hangs up and down. 
So a lot of times you'll see like Trump speaking, whatever in the flag is down behind him. I think that's a lot of that peace flag. He's the most peaceful president ever. We'll see what happens. Uh, I believe he's commander in chief, but we'll see. Um, What's this is, is very disturbing. You know how uh, earlier this week I did, we are not okay. Um, and I, cause I was discussing with a good friend of mine, like he goes, we need, you need to go out there and turn your flag upside down. And I was like, what does that mean? He said, that means distress. You're in distress. It's upside distress. down flag. Yeah. So can you guys see this? If I, oh, this guy Dang, upside down on a Navy ship. They won't. So beautiful as you lie there as a princess who rests in peace. What is that noise? Knowing that her car will keep her safe. Okay. Look I, don't I don't know what that means. Look at this. 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 But it says very alarming. The stars are switch they're yes. upside down the flag is upside yeah. down that means there's distress um you know it's, so it's like a signal of i don't know the exact history of it i'm sure somebody you know can go back but i mean essentially if that's flying upside down at a fort a fort or something or the ship that, that's a signal that hey we're in trouble we need help it's like you know yeah something's not it, right somebody said oh gosh no the, oh how weird okay wait a minute let me see if i can get to the original comments. Okay. When an American flag is flown upside down on a naval ship, it's generally considered a distress signal. The practice is a recognized international maritime signal. We're moving out of maritime law, I believe. Um, indicating that the ship or its crew is in imminent danger or requires urgent assistance. Flying the flag upside down is a symbolic way of communicating distress. And it signals to other vessels or authorities that immediate action may be needed to ensure the safety of the ship and its crew. It's important to note that the signal should only be used in genuine emergency situations as it is a serious communication of distress. Wow. Yep. So, help me be coming soon. I don't know. Help? You know, and, and somebody in the chat, it was uh, a more style tar tarot. Um, said, you know, is that video current? Is that video AI generated? I mean, it's who knows? It could be. We don't I mean, know. You know it, we, don't, we don't know. But it is a. Uh, is it all of those things, but still sending a message about what's true and happening? And yeah, I mean, you know, you just gave a good lesson of what it means. So if somebody sees it in real life, um, be like, oh, okay, so something's not right. You know, that's essentially what it means. You know, there's there's a problem. No, you don't have to get a license to use ham radio. <laughs> You you, well, I think you can listen. I you mean, but I think to, to send, you might have to have a ham license. Um, but I don't think you have to take a test anymore. Okay. I, 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 I don't yeah. think. But that's an option. I mean, you know, that's an option that you could you could use. There's a lot of ways to be able to communicate that are out there. CB radio. Just go get a CB, and that's yeah. got a limited distance. You could have a you know citizens band radio, and you could talk to each other that way. And you got a big antenna, you know, outside your house, you know, you can communicate. It just doesn't have the range that ham has. But, um, you know, maybe some things to start thinking about, huh? Yeah. Um, well, or being able to send, I was thinking, like, if you couldn't. Or smoke them, right you send those. Like Mount Etna. I have a Mount Etna, I'm Mount Etna right now. Some You're all signal. Mount Etna in it. Mm -hmm, I'm Mount Etna. Mount Westwood. Mom and I have had trouble communicating. <laughs> For a while with like i could call her or she could text me but she couldn't call me like kind of all these kind of crazy things and um be careful with her okay um, <clears throat> and so you know if we ever had to get a message to each other and that's where like bitcoin litecoin is a messaging system mm -hmm. and you can send it over radio um and now with that announcement of mimble wimble on the mobile wallet when does that go is that almost already? ready it's in it's in heavy testing right now okay. so it's, it's legit testing and i would imagine by the time the litecoin summit comes in july 24th and 25th in nashville tennessee i'm expecting that there will be an announcement of a rollout on more one wallet maybe more than one wallet because there's a lot of interest and in a lot of uh, wallets out there that are freedom oriented that definitely want to implement that and that's a big deal. I mean, it really is having, you know, money that you can opt, you know, into privacy, you know, so you have the option to make it, you know, on the blockchain, completely transparent, you know, and this is where it is. You can watch it go. Oh, they're watching the rabbits play out here. Sorry, the dogs are. Um, but um, yeah, having that ability to do that and opt into it, um, because 
know, privacy. You got curtains on your house and locks on your doors. Why wouldn't you want to do the same thing with money that you transfer to, to other people? Uh, you know, your energy. Privacy is important. Sorry, I was waiting for mom's dog to stop drinking. <laughs> I was making a cleaning sound. <laughs> she was ringing Wrap it up. Ringing the bell. Was it Kaya? Yeah. Oh. Dinging the bell and she was drinking water. Oh. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Just a lot of I want crazy to do the outro things. With you. Okay. We're not doing it yet. <laughs> He's like, he wants me to get off of here. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Anything else, Westwood? Jim says, what are we going to be talking about Tuesday? You know, because the, the big event passes. It's hard to say. Are we going to be able to talk Tuesday? Yeah. What do you mean? One of my friends uh, said her car was having trouble with all the digital oh. stuff. And um, she sent a, a video to Charlie to see if he could help. And um, I can't remember what he called it. She okay? Something was wrong. Yeah, she's fine. The car isn't. But she's starting to have electrical problems with her car. And that's another thing I thought, okay. Oh, because that the mother of all dragons comet is supposed to be seen at the same time. So like the eclipse will be here. And then like the mother of all dragons also called the devil comet hmm. will be visible at the same time. And then they were talking about sometimes it's what's the difference between a comet. And it, I went down this whole rabbit hole. <laughs> a meteor, an asteroid, a comet. Yes. And so meteors can cause the sound or vibration. And I don't know if you remember, I think it was towards the end of last year that people were like, oh, there's this humming or creaking or moaning mm -hmm. sound in my neighborhood. And we don't know what it is. And it would go on, you know, yeah. we don't need the explanation <laughs> example. But thank you. Yes. And um, and so they were saying that could have been a meteor. Wow. So if we have an eclipse at the same time, the mother of all dragons, and this is the dragon year. We may right? die. <laughs> no, it might wood be a good thing. Wood the dragon, I think. Starting it's a back wood up. dragon. Yes, it's a wood dragon. They're starting CERN back up, and I've heard or been hearing that um, the good guys are in charge of CERN now, that it's been taken over and it will be used for good, not evil. Because remember, be nice. any tool is just a tool, it can be used for good or evil. Yep. Definitely. And so there's the CERN thing, the comet, the eclipse, and NASA is shooting three weird serpent rockets into the sky at the same what? time. Mm -hmm. Serpent rockets? That's what they called them. I don't know. Hmm. I just worked Surprised? Or no? There's just a lot going on. So, or is it beautiful hmm. destruction that will bring like, will we get to see tell us what's going on in Fortnite right now. Wait, wait, okay, but will it all happen at the same time? I don't know. Or around the same time? I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, wait, Fortnite? Do you want to tell them what's going on in Fortnite right now? What are, what are the Fortnite memes? What are the messaging that's going on? Well, the latest update is. So, we just got a new season about two weeks ago. Yeah. And the theme is Greek mythology. Yeah. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. And so it brought... Hades, Zeus, Aphrodite, Artemis, Poseidon. A uh, yes, Poseidon, Ares. Yeah. Medusa. Mm -hmm. I think one. Pandora. More. Well, there's Pandora's box. Pandora's box, which is being held up by a big hand. It's dropped now. Well, I know it's dropped it's now, but I'm like catching and the them. The hand up. is dead. Okay. So but it might come back with the girl. It crow. was wrapped in chains, and the whole community had come together to break the chain. Well, of course, we got to open it and see what's in it, right? Right, which dropped the What can go wrong? It released the Greek mythology. And it released all this Greek mythology. And now, which Ze is the gods, right? So, Zeus is mad at us for breaking the box and releasing all this, so he wants to kill everyone on the island. Well, that sucks. <laughs> but. I'm hoping this happens. Okay. It was one of my favorite seasons. So back in chapter four, three, season four, right before we entered chapter four, the Herald, the which she's the Chrome what, Herald. So the silver, the cube surfer. queen, the queen of the cubes, the sent, queen of the cubes. The she sent okay, the yeah. Herald to come destroy the island. Mm -hmm. And um, if you don't know what the cubes are, like go look into the cubes. There are cubes on Melania's dress that alexander mcqueen dress um also the original cube was good 
And remember when they brought that big gold cube into New York there's as a gold an art? Cube. Of course, Fortnite. there's a gold cube in our Fortnite. and a blue cube, and then there's a black cube. That so then the evil ones also mirror because think no tool is good or evil. It's well, just you got to think about the black cube and how that folds into the right. Kabbalah, you know, and all that, you right. know. So then they create, but the good one was first, and then they created the black cube and the Kabbalah and all that. And so, are we going back to the good, the gold cube? Anyway, go ahead. So. Sure. Uh -huh. the, the opposite, Fortnite, the bad cube came first, and then the good cube, which is the blue one. Ah. Oh, so but that was like three years ago. Is coming. That was okay. like four, three years ago. Okay. Back in like 2019. Ancient history. Long but, time ago. Um, the her she sent the Herald to come to the chapter three map, season four. Which she took a, like a good chunk of the map, and she started spreading her chrome all over the map. She's spreading her chrome all over the map. And Which you like her silver, yeah. It's kind of, it's silver, kind of, most it of, is, silver. Yeah. yeah. And then I don't know if this has anything to do with whatever you think, um, but she brought two new weapons where if you damage a player or a wildlife, there's a bar and an upgrade over time. You want to upgrade it by your gold, it would have you'd have to work for it to upgrade. Uh, so if you damaged a player or a wildlife, you could not just upgrade. You had to work for the upgrade. Mm -hmm. oh. and, and, and instant karma. You know, you do bad things yeah. and you got to pay your karmic bill. Mm -hmm. And so, um, like, you know, you know where it shows me all my weapons mm -hmm. at the bottom? So, back then, when those were, weapons were in the game, <clears throat> right under, like, right beside my weapon slot, mm -hmm. right here, it was, it was a, goal, a bar and it go from uh, green all the way to mythic. And what color is mythic? So it would go from green, blue, purple, uh, golden, like a yellow gold, mm -hmm. and then mythic is shiny gold. Mm -hmm. Which is still in the game, but you'd have to work for the upgrade. You couldn't just buy it. With what's it. the latest thing and what's what are you looking forward to in this season? So, right now. What's coming next? So the Herald might be coming back. The silver because a video i sent to paul him. revere showing up the herald heralding news and she's gonna if she does come back she's gonna reopen pandora's box and release all her chrome with it and revive the hand and everything and revive the hand yeah oh. the unseen hand that works yeah and that's Wesley really knows what you're talking about really the, that's the really only information i have but the new season will be chapter five, season three w will be released March twenty seventh, or no May twenty seventh. I was gonna say <laughs> once again we're tra time traveling. Okay. Yeah. No May twenty seventh. <laughs> Let's so, do the time warp. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm. That's cool. Wondering. I'm hoping it does come back because even though a lot of people didn't like that season, it was one of my favorite seasons. Mm -hmm. But I started like. The season before or before that. Okay. But this is Canon Feist recording or reporting. Yeah. For reporting live. Night news. Fortnite yeah. news. You know, that's important though because, you know, the, you go get me a piece the messaging is everywhere. And the messaging is going to go to the ones that are most open to, you know, Don't let's just call it mythology, um, whatever it may be, you know, um, more, more open to change you know you can't teach an old dog new tricks you know you're kind of set in your ways but you know to transform that mind they're going to message through games through uh kids tv shows you know and all this stuff that we're, we're kind of unwinding now and looking back and saying oh holy cow didn't realize that was in there but you know they're always putting these messages out so it's important to get that perspective what what they're trying to put into the universe you know what i mean what kind of ideas so I think that's that's yeah, good analysis, Canon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in Greek mythology, he wants to tell one last thing about it. In Greek mythology, how is there like letters oh, written good. out? Ask them questions. How are how are the letters written out? What yeah. do you mean? Like in Greek mythology, how are they written out? Like the symbols. Are they right to left or up and down? No, like, is that what you how mean? are they like shaped? What's like, a different no, shape? Like, it's almost like a glyph. You know, like you see hieroglyph. It's almost like that. Yeah, I mean, it is like a letter, a but it's. E, different like a three looks 
like an E looks like a shark on the three. Cubes, they have like, like different strange symbol, written strange symbols. And remember when the telescope was in chapter yeah. four, season three? Yes, and all those symbols. The same, the... Those are the same symbols that were that are from the cube. Mm, interesting. And you you know how the beam was purple was pink? Yep. That's the same color as the cubes. Interesting. It's, and the eclipse happened in Fortnite, which brought the the chapter four season four heist or eclipse. Why was it called the heist? No, eclipsed. The eclipse. Okay. And oh, Rebel needs to go outside. Okay. Do you have to go with her? Because I'm afraid of the hawks. Well, I'm not going to help. Okay, well, then let her go out front or ask Charlie to take her. I mean, I want to... Okay, come tell the rest. Hurry, hurry. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. A big pious <laughs> saw bird swoops down and picks up Nana. Okay, we'll do a whole video, but I'm just telling them, give them the cliff notes, not all of it. Okay. Because they don't want to hear all of it right now. Oh. Um... Midas came back. The guy Gold. with the golden yeah. touch. Yes. And I didn't tell you this, but his crew and him are leaving from the island. But his last... And all the underground. Uh, or um, no, the society. Society are bad? Society's bad, but underground is All good. the society was killed, and then Hades came to take them. No. Uh, yeah, the wolf thing. That's Cerberus. Whatever. And then Hades yeah. that Midas trapped all these years in his prison cell. Isn't that the multi-headed dog that guards Hades, the gates yep. to Hades? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, but Midas and his Hades crew. a ferry man, you know, to get across, you know, the. Are leaving. What is it? So Midas uh, and his crew Iron. now are leaving. They're freed. And they're leaving. But they said they're going somewhere. Going know. to Mars. No one knows. They're going to Mars. But going to Mars. Stop his spawn island. Star War. And Brutus is packing up the ship. A2, Brute? You two are packing and leaving? Brutus. Yeah, that just Br happened. Brutus Beefcake. Brutus is his right hand man, his bodyguard. Okay. And so, but that's really all that's happening right now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good to know. Anyway, I think it's interesting. It feels high like five, Cannon. Virtual high five. Some <laughs> comms in there. Um, who knows? There it is. Um, who knows? But it's it's interesting to hear the stories and the the similarities of what's going on and all that. See, yeah. that's why Greek mythology is important. You know, if you learn this stuff and then you're like, oh, well, that makes sense. You know, they're applying it here in this game. But I mean, there are so many lessons in Greek mythology because it, it yeah. takes lessons from humanity and you know, about how human beings really are and it's yeah. important stuff. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, it is. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I always liked Greek mythology. I always loved it, actually. Yeah. I really didn't know that much about it until the season came yeah. out. I mean, I really, there's, there are books out there. Go get them. Know, yeah, I only really knew about Zeus and Medusa. That's it. Yeah. I didn't even know about I, Yeah, I really didn't even know about Hades. Who cut the head off of Medusa? <laughs> I don't know. Do we know? He used his shield to reflect her head so he didn't look directly in oh, her eye right. and get turned to stone. I remember that story. It was Perseus, wasn't it? Perseus, yeah. Pegasus, so had, the horse. Another thing he was telling me about huh. was the there's Perseus and then, or is it Perseus and Mercedes? Or uh, Mer uh, what's his name? The one that his wings melted when he got too close Icarus? to the sun. Icarus. Thank yep. you. And then there's Mercury where he has Mercury the fast, the messenger god. <laughs> And there's something about Quick that. Silver. Too, so, that yeah. uh, the guy with his the wings on his feet might be coming here pretty soon. Yeah. So the quick messenger might be coming here soon. Uh, and if you guys, there's a I don't know. Should we tell about this one? There, there's a few YouTubers that you can go. No, we'll just wait. We'll do a special one with just me and you. Yeah. This is for happy hour. So that's enough. Yeah. Fortnite for one happy hour. But you told me to tell it, so yes, not my fault. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, it was good. Thanks for the info. It. it was good, but I think that's enough. We'll do one like this week. Uh, we'll try <laughs> if we get your outline done. Okay. Okay. All righty. We'll see how it goes. Nana, you want to come say All bye? Right, tell Westwood bye. Bye, Westwood. Bye, Cannon. I might okay. see you soon. We'll see. Nana said bye. Hi, Nana. I guess Johnny's not joining us. All right, Westwood, do you have anything else before we go? 
Uh, getting ready to wrap this up. So I don't know. You know, tell us a little bit about the event in two weeks. Mm. Oh, I got my so Mighty Mia shirt on that I got in Blanco, Texas from you. Thank you so much. That's when we met. The first Absolutely. Time we met. Crazy wildness. So come Wild to this. Because you never know what wonderful, beautiful soul you might meet. Um, there is, I put a link in the description for tickets. Um, we just did $50 tickets. Um, I think I'm going to do an additional ticket where like you can just be part of the auction for 20 bucks or something because yeah. there's a lot of people that can't travel right now things are crazy i get it but you may still want to help you can also just make a donation um here on this uh there's an option for that um but we would love to see you saturday april 20th from four to seven um in my little hometown um and then the night before we're going to be having a meetup downtown uh, edmond at the rail yard um, and Westwood and I will be live at there. They have a bar and an open like picnic area thing where we can kind of have our group meet and do a little freedom meetup. Um, and we'll be, <clears throat> and then on, on Saturday, we'll be celebrating these wonderful people, mighty Mia and share bear who was Mia and Cannon's uh, nanny and all the uh, proceeds or the funds We'll go to Mighty Miller <clears throat> to help him in his fight. We also have right now, let me see. Um, I created a new t-shirt, which I'm really happy about. The Mighty Hero. Be a hero. You can be a superhero. So You uh, are a superhero. Wear the shirt to show that you are a superhero. That's right. So the way I had to set this up is I had to do it for only two weeks. And so you only have until April 15th to buy the shirt. Um, they're only 20 bucks a piece. That's cheap. Get in on that. Pretty cheap. I tried to keep it. I tried to think about like, where are we? I know people want to help and be a part of it. Um, I also think it's a great way, you know, get a fun shirt and know you're supporting a family who's, um, you know, trying to help get their child well. And um, you can buy as many as you want. Or you, this is also a donate opportunity. Buy or donate um, here. And you can buy a shirt and be a mighty hero. Um, and it's got our... Team Mighty logo on the Superman <laughs> underneath Kent Clark's jacket, which I was very proud of myself for getting. Clark Kent. Yeah, I was pretty proud of myself for that. So I think these are great. They're also red, so you can buy this and wear it every Friday for happy hour. When we and you're good. Remember everyone deployed. Yes, you, they won't arrive to you until May 1st. Um, that's just the way Custom Inc. kind of has it set up. Um so I'm sorry about that, but you're still doing the right thing. I'm so happy to have you. Anybody that um, shows up at the, I, I'll have a list of everybody who bought a t-shirt. And um, if you show up at the um, the Team Mighty event, I'll have an extra little gift for you um, <clears throat> as well. You too can get a hug from the lovely Light Queen Lisa. That's right. That's your gift. For sure. <laughs> extra bonus. Lots, lots of gifts for her. Lots yeah. of people helping and doing good things. And all right, so Lisa, this is a this is a big deal. I've got the plane tickets booked. So no, I'm proud of you. Oh, uh, they're booked. Uh, you know, as long as nothing goes sideways here, you know that's the plan. We got two weeks here. I yeah. think everything's going to be fine. I think um, the universe takes care of those. Uh, no, I think so. You know, be traveling in a bubble and yeah, yeah. And big hearts. And absolutely, absolutely. And um, no, it's exciting. You should come to the come to the Friday night event. We'll do a live happy hour, and um, you know those are always great events. And anybody that wants to show up, I'll set you up with a wallet as I always do, and I will send you Litecoin. I'll show you how easy it is to use a peer to peer network to send digital money, just like the Satoshi white paper said. I will send you a peer-to-peer -peer transaction with some sound money from the digital age, and you will walk away with some Litecoin in your freshly downloaded wallet. Mm -hmm. Teach you how to write down your seed phrase and protect your wealth, be your own bank. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, it's all about uh, opting out of a system that robs you of your energy. So let's uh, let's start using a system that we can, we can control, and I'll teach you how to do that, and I'm happy to do that. And I'll send you a little Litecoin to get you on your way. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to do this. Um, and kind of, you know, I do feel this real draw to small town, bringing it home, um, you know, what that looks like. And so to, you know, this isn't going to be a big Oklahoma City thing. 
Um, if you're coming to the Edmund uh, event, I'm going to be sending you an email with um, some local hotels that are close. Um, uh, Mitchie just came through and I think they paid like 60 bucks or something for oh, nice. a hotel. So this is all in Edmond. It's not in Oklahoma City. Just no. It's just in Edmond. In my oh, good. That's Edmund. much better because and I've we're been be downtown in the, old, the old. I've been to both, town. and Edmond I prefer. Yeah, in the old Edmund. brick town part. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun, and um, just kind of keeping it small and keeping it local, like we like to. So betting yeah, on absolutely. the street, all, all of that, and giving back to people that are in our you know, immediate circle. This isn't giving to make a wish foundation or right. red cross where they're crap trap. They allegedly. The, could the red the yeah. <laughs> we yeah. don't know what they're doing with all that. This is that, that little boy and his mother has worked with me for years, helping kids in foster care and advocating for children in Oklahoma. And now her child is sick and fighting for his life. And it's a way that we can honor Mia's life and um, celebrate her life and her birthday and um, it's a celebration it's a birthday party and so it's not anything sad it's the most wonderful thing to be a part of and we have a great time and i appreciate all of you uh, daddy o sending another donation this yeah. year and i really appreciate that if you're interested in sending a donation for the auction please dm me or on twitter or uh, send me an email here at the channel and um let me know if you can help in that way uh, as well. So I I'll be air mailing. I'll be air mailing. It's coming with me. A uh, yes, thank you. A one ounce silver. Yeah. This is a donation. My mother and father said, "Hey, you going to Oklahoma City?" I said, "Yeah, I don't know how I'm getting there yet, but you know, I'm flying." Ugh. But that'll be coming air mail. I'll be bringing that, and uh, you'll be having the pictures posted if you haven't already. But it's a uh, it's a one ounce silver rocket. It's a Bitcoin rocket. One of five thousand. And you know what? Lisa will sign it. And if you want me to sign it, I'll sign it too. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be very unique at that point. You know, that'll be going up for auction. No, I, and I really appreciate it. It was very thoughtful. Like I just think about like our, our sock and our extended family. And it is so much, you know, we've, some of us have met in the chat only, but we care about mm -hmm. each other and lift each other up and, um, you know, check on each other, you know, Hey man, I haven't seen you in a while. I need to make How sure. Hey, okay. what's going on. Um, and that, that, kind of community is what's going to get us through all of this and so yep. that, that's that's the other that. side of this that's the other side of this to where we have to build this community now to move forward and instead of depending upon centralization we have to uh you know basically go peer to peer i mean that's what we need to do to kind of rebuild this thing and have good relationships just like we did just like we did in the past that's what built this great nation that grow that, that builds great societies it starts at the community it starts at the clan you know and that's it, and that becomes powerful and that uh, that is what changes the world changes the future having solid people with like-minded people together and and you you know what better time to do it than right now you know quit waiting for things to happen quit waiting for the eclipse to signal something you know it's like you just start doing it now every day you start doing things like that now and i think a lot of people in our community do that they they understand that and we want to expand that community we want more people who are out there wondering why is everything broken what's the solution and the solution is all of us all of us with our unique skills coming together knowing each other so that we can um prop each other up and 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 get through this is really what it is as human beings rather than you know slaves because that's what they want to make us. And let's just stop playing in the vampire casino, playing with the poker chips, right? Absolutely. Um, I want to give a shout out. I had invited Johnny Litecoin on, but um, he, because we weren't able to meet last night because my sister came over unexpectedly and I was so happy to see her. I don't get to see her very much. She's in nursing school and like working her tail off. And um, so we took a little pass on doing a show last night and then I invited him tonight, but he has some family stuff going on tonight. So big hugs to Johnny Litecoin. We love our fam and um, I'm grateful for all of you guys. So hopefully we'll see you all in Edmond. And, um, and you never know if you bring an RV, you know, we might go down to the, what is it? The, the, the Wachita mountains or something and hunt some Sasquatches. I don't know. Some dog men. You know, I'm, I'm along for the ride. They're saying that that eclipse is going to go right over Lake Worcester, um, which is 
where when we moved to Oklahoma, that's kind of the area we were in. And I was like, Lisa, I don't know. You're like the Forrest Gump of, I don't mean that in a bad I'm way. I'm telling you. But my you're like the Forrest Gump me. of uh, the future, it's you know, and everything my, that's happening here. Yeah, it's my parents, though. I've just been drug along like the tale of Comet. <laughs> My parents are the are the guiders in my life, so and I'm grateful for them. So, um, Papa's leading the way and uh, kept us on the the path. So, um, thank you all for watching tonight, and um, be good to one another, love one another, and um, let's. I'll see you guys after the eclipse, I guess. Right? Yes. All right. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy, that relies on covert means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed.